Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Most. So far, I have only shown you how to use regular expressions, but I haven't shown you a useful example. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very useful example where regular expressions are super powerful and important. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very useful example where regular expressions are super powerful. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use regular expressions to validate a phone number. So here, as you can see, we have this uh, HTML code that will just create this page where the user can type a number, a phone number, and we will check if that phone number format is valid or not. And as you can see here, the format should be like this, should be three digits and then another three digits and then another four digits. And in between the three, the first three digits and the next three digits, a hyphen and another hyphen after the uh, next three um, digits and before the four digits. So this format, the only accepted format is this format. Otherwise, we will display a message to tell the user that the format is wrong. So if the user types just a number without the hyphen in between numbers, we will say that this number, this format is wrong. If the user types letters, just letters, we will also say that this format is wrong. The only format that is accepted is this format. And this can be accomplished by using regular expressions. So I'm going to show you how to validate this number that the user is going to type by using regular expressions. So as you can see here in Sublime Text, I have this code which will create this, uh, this HTML code. And it's just a simple HTML. The only important uh, part is this form where we have the input to let the user type the phone number. And we have also a button so that the user clicks on the check and we will execute this, we will call this function to check if the number is uh, number format is valid or not. And as you can see, we have here on click, so that once the user clicks on the button, it's going to call this validate number. So what I'm going to do in order to validate the number or check if the number format is correct or not, is that I'm going to create here a script. And inside this script, I am going to create this function here, function function and the name of the function obviously is validate number and then what we need to do is that we need to get the number that the user is going to type so here I'm going to use the document document dot get element by ID and the ID obviously is phone and I'm going to store store it here in var font. So we now we have a reference to this input, to this um, phone input. And now the most important part, which is using regular expressions to check if that format is right or wrong. So we need a regular expression that is going to check that if the format that the user is going to type is like this or not. And here I'm going to create this regular expression. So here var reg exp equals to the regular expression. So here slash slash. So the regular expression is that we first we need to create or check for three digits. So what I'm going to do is that here I'm going to here type backslash D and then curly braces and then three because we want to check for three digits. And then what we need to do is that we want to check for this hyphen. The user must type this hyphen. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use brackets and inside them square brackets and then hyphen. So now we have three digits and then a hyphen and then we want to check for another three digits. So backslash D and then curly braces and then three. 
and then we want to check for another hyphen and instead and here instead of typing square brackets and then hyphen we can simply get this regular expression by just by using backslash one why because here backslash one means that get me the regular expression that we already have here which was inside these brackets so these brackets as you can see these two means that to remember what is inside these brackets so now this regular exp expression remembers this or this hyphen so we can immediately get it by using the backslash one and then we want to check for four digits here we want to check for four digits so here backslash d and then curly braces and then four and now we are done now we want to apply this regular expression to the phone number and the function that i'm going to use is called here regular expression dot execute and this this uh, function takes a string so what I'm gonna pass is the phone dot value why because this phone this phone as you can see this phone is just a reference to this input it doesn't represent the text inside the phone so we need to get the value remember to get the value from the phone and the, the result will be here we will be stored we will will be returned from this function so here I'm gonna say var result equals to this so I'm gonna use if statement and then result if that result is true then we will say alert alert we will use the alert to display a message that says phone number number or the phone number is valid and a smile and if the else if the phone number is invalid I, I am going also to display I'm also going to use the alert to display another message that is going to say phone number is invalid And that is it now each time the user clicks on this button on this button it's going to call this function and validate the phone number that is going that the user is going to try let's now save and test let me now open up my browser so let me now refresh and type a number 333 and then hyphen 434 and then hyphen 333 Three, three. If now I click on check, as you can see, it's going to say phone number is valid because the format the, that I, I have typed matches this format. But if I type this number without the hyphen, if I remove the hyphen here and here, if I click on check, it's going to say phone number is invalid despite the phone number here is correct but I forgot to type the I forgot to type the uh, hyphens so you need to type the hyphens if now I type some letters and then click on check it's going to say phone number is invalid so as you can see this regular expression this regular expression will check if the format is incorrect or correct just by one line of code instead of just instead of creating your your own algorithm which will take a lot of time to check if the format is correct or not with regular expressions you can create super powerful applications so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions about regular expressions or about this code leave the question in the comment section below you can also find this code in my website kamanka.com also check the description below for useful information. That's it for this tutorial. This is Most. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.